Is it me or are EV batteries getting bigger and bigger every year? The Tesla Model S Plaid has a 100 kilowatt hour battery. The Rivian R1T is going to have a 135 kilowatt hour battery. And if you think that's too big, there's going to be a new Neo vehicle, which is going to come with a 150 kilowatt battery. Whoo! Those are some really big batteries. And they are getting bigger and bigger every year. Welcome everyone to Ready, Steady, Charge. My name is Solomon and today I am going to tell you about the top 5 reasons why EVs with smaller batteries are actually better. This will be a quick video, a short video. If you want more nuance, make sure you subscribe to our channel and look out for our next video, which is a longer and more detailed discussion. Now, let's go! If you didn't already know, the battery is the most expensive part of an electric vehicle. And the bigger the battery, the more expensive it is. And yes, I do realize that batteries are getting cheaper and cheaper over time, and the dollar per kilowatt hour ratio is going down, and is going to be cheaper and cheaper every year. But this will never overcome the fact that a smaller battery will always be cheaper than a bigger battery. Imagine this, if you have a $100,000 vehicle with a 100 kilowatt hour battery, it is a vehicle that's not affordable for most people. But if you divide up the battery into thirds, let's say a 33 kilowatt hour battery each, then you get to produce three vehicles at a third of the price. Now, if the vehicles are, let's say, $33,000, they are a lot more affordable. Therefore, EVs with smaller batteries can accelerate adoption of EVs by making them just cheaper. In the same vein as our first point, the second point is a smaller battery will take way less energy and way less resources to produce. Ever since EVs came on the market, lots of questions have been raised which had not been raised before. Now, where does the raw material come from? How much energy does it take to manufacture a battery? And how big is the carbon footprint to produce an EV? I think it's wonderful that these questions are being asked right now and consumers are choosing products based on the answers to these questions. Now, not only would a smaller battery cost less, it would have a smaller environmental impact. EV enthusiasts will be very familiar with the good handling characteristics of EVs, and that is because the battery is mounted in the floor, creating a low center of gravity. And the battery itself can weigh a ton. Literally a ton. So batteries are heavy. And of course, a smaller battery is going to be lighter than a larger battery with the same energy density. The weight of a vehicle is not as simple as the lighter the better. However, if a vehicle's design allows for it, a lighter vehicle will have better energy efficiency and better consumption. And therefore, you can use less kilowatt hours of energy for every kilometer driven. When you have a small battery and a big battery, and they charge it at the same speed, the small battery is going to fill up first. Today, the fastest charging consumer EVs can charge at a theoretical power of around 300 kilowatts and a realistic power of about 200 kilowatts, and that is extremely fast. Now, if you have a 70 or 80 kilowatt hour battery, it still takes around 18 minutes to charge from 0% to 80%. As long as there are a lot of DC fast chargers that can charge at 200 kilowatts or above along your entire route, batteries that are around 35 to 40 kilowatt hours will take around 9 minutes to charge to the same battery percentage, you know, 0 to 80%. This is close to how long it takes to fill up a gas station. And this is pretty fast. Because you can only plug in for such a short time during any charging session, no one needs to stay at a charging station for a long time. Which leads us to the final reason why a smaller battery is actually better. 
in my one and a half years of driving an EV, I personally have not experienced any situations where multiple electric vehicles line up to charge at the charging station. But clearly, this is a problem that other people have faced. Long charging queues are clearly a problem, and they happen during long weekend and holiday seasons on very busy routes. So having a small battery can actually help with this problem. If everyone has big batteries, there is potential that people can stay at the charging station for a long time. But if everyone has a small battery, then no one can actually stay plugged in for that long. Thank you everyone for joining me today on the 5 reasons why smaller EV batteries are actually better. There are many things that I have not covered around battery size, their implications, advantages, disadvantages. Today's video is a very quick video, and if you want to hear more information, make sure you're subscribed and watch out for our next video, where we will have a longer discussion with more details. My name is Solomon, thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.